Hello everyone and welcome back to Siberia 3, this time for part 3, and our current objective is to find Dr. Zamiatine. Presumably somewhere down here on this new floor. So, uh, let's just have a look around and see what we can do, okay? Um, I see a sign up there, can we read that? No? What about, right, what about this one over here? Yeah, okay. Mm, Valsam boards, something or other. Uh... I do see Zamiatine, to the right apparently, okay. Cool. Got some uh, pretty hefty doors over there, but let's actually, yeah, let's. I guess let's go this way. Yeah, let's let's chat. I don't think it's you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Exit, Doctor Zamiatine. Yeah, Doctor Zamiatine. I'm looking for Doctor Zamiatine. He's in his office. You'll find it in the small corridor back there, the first door on your left. Okay. Um, let's talk about the clinic itself. Pretty gloomy clinic. Mm. It could do with a bit of human warmth. What was that? It used to be the fortress of the Dukes of Valsambor. What was that? The ancient rampart standing against invasions from the east. All right. The inhabitants of Valsambor took refuge here and often escaped the besiegers through mysterious secret passages. Oh, really? When did it become a clinic? That was 20 years ago, thanks to Dr. Zamiatine. Okay. Really need to meet this guy, don't I? I would like to leave this clinic. Would you mind telling me where the exit is, please? Well, usually I'd have told you to go over to the other side of the courtyard to take the funicular that goes down to Valsambor. But it seems Dr. Efimova has shut off the entire clinic for security reasons. Oh, damn. The funicular has been stopped until further orders. I see. Thank you for all that information. Yeah. I'll be going now. Is there a particular reason Maybe you should head on back I'm being to kept here? Wait until they say the funicular is fixed and back in service. I'll think about it. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't think I'll think for very long. But yeah, it is kind of strange that I'm imprisoned here. I mean, do I really pose such a threat to, like... I don't know. I, I don't really understand why the colonel's got it in for me. If it's for a regular checkup, the doctor's offices are behind the reception area. Right, yes, okay, um... Oh, really? Invisible barrier here? My god, there are some problems with this game. But, um, yeah, let's see if we can head to that corridor. Presumably there won't be a problem with me doing that. So, over here somewhere? Okay. Right. So, could be this one. Can we go past these ladies? The funicular is out of service until further notice. I gathered. Okay, well, let's try this room. Ah, is that him? Yeah, he was on the ah, leaflet. Hello, Miss Walker. How very delightful to see you up and about. Even if I really have to admit that I'm a bit surprised, our dear Dr. Olga painted a far darker picture of your current state of health. She would. Well, let's see then. She worries me this is her plan or she's crazy. Well, we know this Miss is her plan. Dr. Efimova and Dr. Mangling want everyone to believe that I'm crazy so they can justify keeping me here against my will. But I don't really understand their endgame. It's very strange. Olga did indeed speak to me about your unfortunate penchant for paranoia. Be careful not to let such perilous perturbations flourish in your mind, Miss Walker. They may be the source of many of your difficulties. For you, and for those around you. Right. Sadly, I assure you that my accusations are well-founded, Dr. Zamiatine. I'm of perfectly sound mind. Just tell him about Listen your adventures and he'll Walker. think otherwise. I know that waking up after a prolonged period in a coma is difficult. In such a context, anxiety attacks are very normal. Oh, please. But, please, do not project it onto Dr. Olga. I'm not getting any younger, you know, and running this clinic is a very heavy burden. The last few years, Olga has shown she is capable of assisting me. I have every faith in her. Well, I guess that makes one of us. I'm not having an anxiety attack, Doctor. When I asked Olga to let me leave, she drugged me. <laughs> I know. Olga has informed you know? me of the incident. According to her, you were unfortunately very aggressive and disturbed. And she had to inject a tranquilizer. Bullshit. Dr. Mangoling spoke to me about your violent tendencies. But... The subject is closed, Miss Walker. Is that skeleton the last patient of Olga, I wonder? Please tell me about that pendant you have around your neck. 
I must admit I noticed it as soon as you walked in. Right. Oh, I have a choice here. There was once an Oscar. It's a souvenir or know your business. What is the problem, Miss Walker? The problem is I don't know whether to trust you. You seem like a decent guy. Let's just say it was once Come. an Oscar. It belonged to Oscar. A friend who passed away. I understand, Miss Walker. I myself have borne the weight of grief for decades now. Wearing a token from someone dear to you is a natural thing. Dr. Zamiatine, I promised Kirk I'd go to the craftsman in Valsambur and bring back his mechanical prosthesis. I did. The poor boy has been waiting for it for ages, so I'd like to try to speed up the process. Would you tell me how to get there? Now there's a truly noble initiative, Miss Walker. I asked my clockmaker friend Simon Steiner to manufacture the young Yukol's mechanical prosthetic leg. He's a capable craftsman and ingenious. I'm shocked they were even You'll working find on him it. in his workshop near the Valsambor port. Okay. I imagine he must almost be finished with his work by now. He makes amazing things. You'll see. Can you authorize my release so that I can see Dr. Steiner? Unfortunately, I've been told that the clinic is in lockdown. Yeah. You will have to ask Dr. Olga, Miss Walker. Oh, she why? She signed the current order to lock our establishment down. She's in charge of giving out the passes. Can't you overrule her? You own the place, don't you? Oh, had to be the evil bitch, didn't it? <laughs> What's that? This book should answer any of the questions you may have about our Yukol's friends. Farewell and bon voyage, Miss Walker. Okay. <laughs> That's quite a big pocket you have. Racism, yeah. I get the impression that the Yukos aren't much liked around here. Hmm. Indeed. It would seem that most of the inhabitants of Valsambor are now quite hostile towards them. This wasn't the case a while back, you know. When I was young, the migration of the snow ostriches was an event widely welcomed with open arms in Valsambor. Why the change in attitude? Our region was actually somewhat devastated 20 years ago. Dramatic events changed the way people viewed the world. 20 years ago? The people turned inward on themselves. They're less welcoming. And the fact that the Yukols have been stuck here, next to Lake Valsambor for several weeks, hasn't helped. Hmm. Okay, well, the migrations then. How many ostrich migrations have you seen? This is the third one. Huh. I'm lucky to have seen so many of them. It's a rare spectacle. Believe me. The great herd of ostriches accompanied by the Yukols. Doomed to blindly follow their animals wherever they happen to roam. And they don't care about countries, wars, and borders. Hmm. You seem to like the Yukols, Dr. Zamiatine. They are a fascinating people, you know, and such astonishing medicine infused with shamanism. Without which, no doubt, you would have never arrived in this clinic alive, Miss Walker. Well, he's quite a short man. Perhaps he's got some Yukol in him. Why did the Yukols ask you to heal Kirk? On each of their migrations, the Yukol shamans and I have exchanged medical knowledge. Their trance therapy and materia medica have provided astounding results for my patients affected by psychological afflictions. In exchange, I do what I can to take care of those injured that they can't heal using their traditional medicine. Like uh, that poor boy who lost his leg. It's really necessary for me to ask Olga's permission to leave? Yeah. You're the director of this clinic, after all. Exactly. Olga is my right-hand woman. I can't keep her uninvolved in current matters, Miss Walker. She is also currently your doctor. You should really talk with her about it. She isn't as evil as you seem to believe. <laughs> You'll find her in her office, most probably. Okay. <laughs> I guess she wasn't the one with the eye patch, so, yeah. If I can only get a syringe, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable in doing that. Anyway, yeah. Um, so I was given something, right? So let's just have a look. Hang on. So we've got the inventory. Is that something for the journal? Right. Anthology on the Yukuls. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, well, read, I suppose. Right. Oh, I see. So we get translations for each each page. Okay. I'm just going to go through all of the pages. If you want to read this, just pause the video, okay?
I think I recognize that picture from, um, Siberia 1, I believe. Okay. Oh, that's right, the Yuki. Yeah, whatever happened to the Yuki at the end of Siberia 2? Because I wasn't completely alone, because, yeah, he was still around. <laughs> Abandoned, I suppose. He'll be alright. And there you have it, the mammoths and the snow ostriches, or the great snow ostriches. Okay. This might be the final page, let's see. Animism and spirituality. Okay. And I believe that's actually it. Okay, so that's the anthology on the Yukals. I'll read into that a little bit more deeply later on. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, can we do anything in this room? Can we have a look at this skeleton? No. We can talk to him again. Uh, what's that? Medical studies, alternative medicine manuals, great literature, super collection. I'll take your word for it. What about over here? Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell. Some of the paintings and stuff in this place, I can't tell if they're actually paintings, drawings, or photographs in some cases. Right. Okay, so let's just keep exploring this floor, shall we? Hey. Right. <laughs> okay. Good grief. Uh, sure. I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. I'm sure you have. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Because if you're going to sit like that for too long, you're going to get back problems. Maybe you should be the one getting looked at. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Okay, so there is something to the right bloody hell, the camera. I mean, we can wiggle the camera a little bit, but we can't really control it around the character, unfortunately. Is this it? The American is awake. Ah. You must hurry, Colonel. Hmm. How is she doing? Miss Walker is rather restless. I had to administer a tranquilizer. But I'm afraid I won't be able to keep her here for very long, Colonel. She is very quickly going to become a problem. Why? Kate Walker will always represent a problem for us. Why? And also for our cause, Dr. Olga Efimova. I can use methods that are more... How should I put it? Medical. <laughs> no. In a place like this? No. That isn't a very good idea. I want her back in good condition. And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past few years, Leg Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't cross the ice. They're stuck here. And also, their young guide is still in our... If everything goes as planned, Soon the they need to sort that out. No choice but to go back home, especially as I have a plan to speed things up. Really? Fine. <laughs> There's also the American detective colonel. He should be arriving soon. Let him meet with Miss Walker if that's what he wants to do. No point alarming him just yet. But when all is said and done, we're the ones who are handling the young woman's case. No American is going to come here and tell us what to do. He just exudes evilness, doesn't he? I still don't really understand their cause. I guess it's got something to do with Siberia and the Yukal people. Maybe because I stick up for them? That's why I'm a problem? <laughs> what? Where did she go? Well, she assimilated with this suit of armor. Or maybe she got inside it really quickly. It sounded like it. Let's have a look. Alright. Alright, a little bit of a puzzle here, it looks like. Okay, hang on. Let's have a look at this shield. Oh, can we have a... Right, so we can have a look at each of these jewels. Oh, we can flip them around. Okay, so it can be, um... How's that working? <laughs> it can be red, blue, green. Yeah, red, blue, or green. Okay. 
Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, presumably it's some sort of combination. Okay, it's just these five jewels then. Okay, let's go back. Maybe let's have a look at the sword. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Oh, I see. Or, or maybe I don't actually. Surely I've got to twist this round. But I can't seem to do that. What about the next one down? What's this? Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, hang on. Right, let's, yeah. Release these. I think that's what was causing me to only be able to turn it a little bit. So hang on, let's go back up here again. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, that one? What is it? A, a squid? Got some tentacles, just like the key from before. <laughs> sort of missing its uh, middle bit there. No, that's not going to work. Could be this one. Kind of lines up, I guess. And have we got some... Yep. There you go. Okay. Ah, I did see a jewel in the... Oh, forget it. Okay, what was that? Okay, red at the bottom, green on the left, and blue, blue. Uh, okay. That's the combination, apparently. Fantastic. So let's get over there and let's give it a try. So... Let's just... Hang on. Let's just make these blue. Oh, sorry. Was it was it red? I think it was actually red. I think I had it right the first time. I just got off a 12-hour shift. My memory is awful right now. Yes, I did. Okay. Right. She did that pretty damn quickly. Uh, well, that's obviously one of the secret passages that we learned about. Let's see if there's anything around here before we, uh, before we go in there. There's that DSM book again. Uh, what about... Right, her computer. Okay. I guess that's just the icon of the hospital. Valkenbor Hospital. Yeah, a weird sort of squid thing. Sure. All right. I've received confirmation that the American is a subversive. She's hysteric by nature and has gotten it into her head to accompany an old lunatic to some imaginary island. On the way, she has caused a great deal of nuisance for the authorities and, above all, has associated herself with those freeloading yukels. It would also seem that Uncle Sam considers her to be of some importance. This is a good occasion to get rid of her. Uh, when I get to Valsambor, my men will rest her and deliver her to her country's authorities. Until then, take good care of her. Colonel, okay, and it looks like we've got a couple of others here. Alrighty then. Good idea. Let's just go through this one. What's this? Nick? Nick Canton, the finest private investigator on the East Coast. Wasn't that the guy that was in Siberia 2? The one that... <laughs> the one that kept running into trouble trying to follow me. Like... Like bears, for instance. <laughs> okay, and finally, another one with uh, with Olga. Urgent business. Come see me later in the boiler room. We've got to take care of those damn nomads. Hello, Miss Efimova. I'm here to see you two. How did that happen? Kate Walker. It really is you. What a coincidence. I've been looking for you for weeks. Uh, Mr. Canton, I presume? Can't be. Ah, I see that my reputation precedes me. Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. Yeah, let's just say that. No, I just oh. now learned of your existence, Mr. Canton. Lie, Kate, lie. A while ago, my employer in New York informed me that he was going to stick a detective on my back. I don't like to boast, but I'm the best detective on the East Coast. Yep, I saw that in the email. For a problem with me... I've been asked to bring you back home safe and sound, Miss Walker. I should be in Valsambor in a few hours. I'm not going back, sorry, or I don't need a Prince Charming. I'm not going back, sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Canton. I'm sure that finding me hasn't been easy. Oh my god, you have no idea. I'm afraid this might upset you, but I'm not planning on going back to the United States for the moment, Mr. Canton. To be honest, you don't really have a choice. 
The U.S. Justice Department is looking for you. And I even have an international arrest warrant for you, Miss Walker. Who'd have thought? No oh, shit. The feds are looking for me? But what's the charge? I've done nothing wrong. Embezzlement! Apparently, you took off with a contract for the sale of the clockwork toy factory in Vorlberg. Oh, that's how they're spinning it. And you took advantage of the seller's senility. You're even suspected of being responsible for the death of one of them. Oh, wow. Mr. Hans Vorlberg, the last heir authorized to sign contracts with the company you represented. That's not negligible. I you knew that contract was going to come back and bite her in the ass. This is completely ridiculous. And as far as I know, you aren't authorized to represent the Justice Department in this country. You're just a detective. So you'll have to put up with it, Mr. Canton. I'm not going back to New York with you. So leave me alone. Wait, Miss Walker. Please be reasonable. Goodbye, Mr. Canton. Huh. <laughs> what are her long-term plans, I wonder? I mean, after she fixes Kirk's leg, gets the, gets the prosthesis... Is she going to hang around with the Yukul some more? I guess. I suppose she hasn't really got a choice now. All sorts of sedatives and tranquilizers. Well, we might want to pick one up just in case she comes back. Is that it? Just that thing, apparently. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Through the secret passage, then. Alright. Anything to the left and right? There's little alcoves for something. But nothing interesting, apparently. Alright. Up or down. I can't tell her head was in the way. Yeah, the more I play this game, the more technical issues I run into. It definitely needs a, a patch or two, I think, at the moment. What have we got here? Wow. Remains? Charming. Yeah. <laughs> Charming. Blimey. Just sort of laid out like that. Hurry up. Is that her? Yes, Dr. Elfimova. I'm doing whatever I can. Get this damn tap open in the end, you'll see. Ah. Ah. That's it. Well, that should convince the Yukul scum to strike camp and go back where she came from. Come on, Helmet. Let's not hang about here. Yes, of course, Dr. Ephemov. Based on the amount of bodies that I'm seeing in the background, I'm thinking that the treatment in this hospital isn't all that great. And what is this, like a makeshift morgue or something? Why is it down here next to these... well... What is that, anyway? Oil? Yeah, maybe. Well, probably something similar, anyway. Right. Like, yeah, so it's just oil in the water, I suppose. Uh, alright. Well, I suppose I ought to turn the tap off or something and help the Yukus out. I mean, they're my friends, right? But let's just explore, see how many dead bodies I can find. What's this? Let's pick it up. Oh, is that a... it's a can, right? A jerry can, a gas can. Right, empty though. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, maybe that's how I deal with the problem? I just... <laughs> can I collect all of that in that jerry can though? I don't think so. Through here, right? Oh, go on then. What a catastrophe. It is a little bit, isn't it? Anything over on this side before I cross over on the bridge? I feel I have to look. Just lots and lots of bones. <laughs> it's like the lid was removed from every coffin. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know that some things haven't changed. It still seems to take an age to get over some stairs in the Siberia games. What's that? Uh, I, I guess I have to use the uh, the jerry can here, but what is this? Acid. Hydrochloric acid. Let's put my theory to the test then. Uh, so, knife, brochure, empty gas can. Yeah, yeah. What am I planning to do with that, exactly? A full gas can. Right. Of acid, though. Not of gas. Alright. Is it something to do with this door, maybe? Only one way to find out. 
Oh, actually, no. I suppose there would be a use icon on the door if that was the case. I think that's how uh, that works in this game. All right, can we um, can we climb up or maybe turn the taps off? Do we not want to do that? No, really? Okay. What a catastrophe, she says, and then she doesn't do anything to fix it. Bloody hell. Oh, oh, hang on, no. No, this one. This one I can turn off. This thing is stuck. No, I can't. Maybe you should have tried the other ones. Maybe they wouldn't have been stuck. Maybe you could alleviate the problem just a little bit. I presume that's going to say the same thing. What a catastrophe. Yeah, what a catastrophe. Let's just let the events unfold. Kate, what are you doing? Goodness gracious me. Okay, it feels like I'm sort of glitching my way through this game. And trust me, I'm not trying to do that. All right. Oh. You've got to be kidding. I have to get rid of this chain. Fast. Well, that explains the acid, then. <laughs> That's a lot of acid. Right. Wasn't there like a padlock or something you could break with the acid instead of the actual chain? I mean, that obviously doesn't happen every time they take the boat. Is that the wisest move? I feel this should be like a quick time event or something. Oh blimey. <laughs> Picking up speed now. I have to admit it kind of looks like fun. <laughs> that doesn't. What? How did you stay on the surface? How were you not, not knocked off the boat? <laughs> is this alluding to the monastery in Siberia too? Because that's what it feels like. It's not exactly a sled, but same principle. Right. Well, I guess I don't need Dr. Olga's permission to leave. Brilliant. Ideal, right at the Ukul camp. They're rather big, aren't they? They're a new addition. I don't think they were alluded to in Siberia 1 and 2, were they? Oh, what's going on? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Quickly, or all ostrich is lost. Why, what's going on? Miss Ketwok, help please. Miss Ketwok. Engremuk, Engremuk. Tuk, tuk. Be cool Miss Ketwok? Send venu tuk 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 tuk. Mini near buru. Hmm. We've got a language barrier thing going on here again. Uh, what's going on? My God! What happened to that poor ostrich? Probably should have said the other one actually. Ostriches want drink very bad water. Tuk. When ostrich is thirsty, ostrich is thirsty, and ostrich is not smart smart. Miss Ketwalk. She lako lako tuk. Head <laughs> hard like hard rock. Try to hold them back as long as possible. There must be a way to filter the river water. Right. Ungeremuk. But Miss Ketwalk, go quickly. Miss Ketwalker. Uh, hello, ma'am. Da. <laughs> you remember me, Miss Ketwalker? Do I? Me oh, yes. Ayahuasca. Great Yukul Shaman. Me go there and find you somewhere there in the world of the spirits. That's great, but what happened to go quickly? So you're the one I owe my life to, Madam Ayahuasca. It's you who cared for me before taking me to the doctors in the Valsambor Clinic. The ostriches? Like, I don't know how I can ever thank you. Tuk tuk tuger. Miss Kate Walker go clean river water right up there. Since she traveled long time in Magic World, spirits now her friends. 
They will show her the right path. Will they? I, Very well. If you say that the spirits are going to give me a hand, I, I'll try to do that. Okay, so presumably it's going to be somewhere upstream. Right, I guess down that path over there. This is actually where I'm going to leave part 3 of Siberia 3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this game, despite the many technical issues that do seem to be cropping up every now and then. I uh, hope to see you back in part 4, where hopefully we can save these ostriches. See you then. Let's talk about the clinic itself. Pretty gloomy clinic. Mm. It could do with a bit of human warmth. What was that? It used Miss Walker. Is that skeleton the last patient of Olga, I wonder? Okay, so let's just keep exploring this floor, shall we? Hey. Right. Hey, are you alright? Because if you're going to sit like that for too long, you're going to get back problems. Maybe you should be the one getting looked at. I don't know. <laughs> Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. Yeah. Let's just say that. No, I just oh. now learned... <laughs> I have to admit it kind of looks like fun. <laughs> that doesn't. What? <laughs> <laughs>